Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Nate. I'm telling you, I got this really nice all sheetrock. So 1178 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, single wide. This one has a really nice kitchen in it. You get a separate shower and tub in your master bathroom. The two end rooms here are good size, so not like that middle bedroom is completely tiny, as is a lot of single wides. So I am at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. I want to say thanks to uh, Clayton Homes for letting me come film their homes here. And without further ado, we got to get inside. So now let's head on in. So now your front door is right over there. So this is your living room area. Of course, your front door always comes into your living room area on most all your single wides. Now let me point out this one has eight foot ceilings. You've got the crown molding up here. So it's really nice. They really went all out on this one as far as the design and the uh, amenities and, you know, making it feel upscale. So overall, we've got a pretty decent size living room. Now one thing you do sacrifice with this kitchen is your dining room. You do not have room for a dining room, but who needs one when you've got this really large dining room, or I mean, <laughs> might as well be your dining room table, but you've got this really large island here. The name of the home is called the Cool Breeze. We've got some cabinets down below. Lots of storage space in each one of these cabinets. Does run all the way through so there is no center divider in them. So we've got seating for two. You could easily add another chair here. Put, in, put yourself another chair over here. We do got an electrical outlet. I like the fact that the sink is up on the wall. You've got window looking out. Stack of drawers right here. These are the white Frigidaire appliances. Of course, you can always option in stainless steel. You can get different type of fridge, different brands. It all depends on how much you want to pay and what you're looking for. The stainless steel hood. I'm not sure if I mentioned that the cabinets in the island are a different color than the cabinets in the kitchen. They even went with the nicer hanging lights here. These are what I've seen in some of their other homes that were the really high dollar homes. Okay, we got to come down here. Check out your kids rooms. Now I want to point out that this isn't a really narrow hallway. This is feels pretty wide as you walk down it. And then we've got bedroom number one. Now this one isn't as small as some of the other single wide front bedrooms, but it's not as large as some of the others that I just filmed where they went out of the way to make this room pretty good size. Now 
You've got a decent sized closet in here. Now that is the only portion of the home that is not sheetrocked is the closet. Everything else in the home is got the crown molding, the sheetrock, the four inch uh, baseboard. And this is the only part of the home that feels cramped. <laughs> You've got your square porcelain sink though. One great big cabinet door down here for all your storage needs. Really nice set of lights above the sink though. Now this is a one piece shower tub combo. Now your back bedroom feels really big. Of course it does run the full width of the home. Now your closet, of course the same size as the closet in the other bedroom. Now maybe you could make that bathroom a little bit bigger by making this closet smaller. You would be surprised at how much six more inches will do to the feel of a room. Okay, so now we got the utility room and we got the uh, master bedroom to check out. We can't forget to look at this nice little feature they added on the wall here. And then we got our stars and stripes. Now there's our water heater access and our furnace. Back door here. So a really large utility room. So this utility room is about the size that you will see in some of your double wides. It's a really large utility room. So now as we come into the master bedroom, you can see it is a big room. One big window on that side. So now your closet is a nice large closet, big walk-in closet. I like that the rack goes across the back side there along with all the way down the side. Gives you a lot of hanging space. All right, so now coming into our bathroom, Looking straight ahead, we've got this really nice stack of drawers and cabinets, dual square porcelain sinks, one great big vanity mirror. We're gonna come over here so we can say hello to Raiden. And then we have this great big five foot soaker tub. Really nice fixtures here. And then as we swing on around, checking all this out one more time, our toilet obviously is right next to the sinks. But then on the back side, we've got this big one piece fiberglass shower. So you've got these benches in your one piece fiberglass shower. And with that, you should leave me a big one piece. Ah, that doesn't tie in very well. Anyway, 
go down there and leave me a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of the home? All right, well, I kind of goofed up the ending of that one trying to tell you how to go down there and leave me a comment down below. So now I'm just going to go ahead and say, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of the home? While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. That way on Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursday when I upload videos, you get notified when I upload the videos. With that, now we got to get to some price information on this home. So the price for this home is at time of filming in October of 2022. This may or may not be the price that you pay, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. And these fire alarms really make it hard to talk without them beeping. Because there's like a bunch of them and they keep going off. So anyway, there could be extra city, county regulation fees, things like that. Extra delivery fees, depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. Now with that, before this thing beeps again, I want to tell you the price for this home comes in at $96,000. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, leave me a comment. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.